Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. But I dare to say today, ladies and gentlemen, don't ask me what's bad about the rap game any longer. Ask me what's good about the rap game. And I'll tell you, push your tea. Mm. Yo, man. That push was like one of the best intros yeah. ever. All yeah. we needed was some trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> like, we need trumpets, that? doves. <laughs> <laughs> like, you need a harp player, yeah, a harp. you know, a, a, a flute player. It's a good one. And I say this because I've been to where you live, you know, with yes, MTV. Sir. I came into uh, Virginia and then and, and, and went around your neighborhood where you grew up, and I've seen the, the, the environment you came up in, and I know your story. And from day one, from day one, you have not lost a beat on your lyrical career content and delivery thank you and, and, and i want to commend you for that because you've had to stand the test of time in it and even to this day some of the biggest artists out still have to compete with Pusha t mm. yeah you're making a lot of people scared hey man you know it's just the way i was i was brought up in in hip-hop yeah you know um my, my brother was definitely like you know the first person to even introduce me mm -hmm. to hip hop, he was always like a lyricist. He was all he was the first person to tell me like, you know, I remember like being a kid and saying, man, you know, he was coming home from somewhere and I was watching TV. I said, man, Hammer's the best, and he was like, no, Hammer's the best entertainer. Yeah, he was like, but you know, and then rock him, and mm -hmm. you know, he was showing me everything else. But you know, we five years apart, so right. you know, if, uh, if he's thirteen, I'm eight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but he he broke that down to me and 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 showed me like, yo, this is what it is, and this is the difference, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna ask you this <clears> question: <throat> You got the mixtape, right? Rapper Kane, right? Right. You spell Kane differently than Kane, the rapper spelled his name, but yes, the mixtape was it was inspired by Big Daddy Kane, right? Yeah. And yeah. The, and the song was Rapper Kane. Yeah. What happened? You had a moment? You had a revelation? Yeah. I had a revelation just recently. And, um, you know, all the hip-hop heads in here, we probably, we might even fight when I say this. But Watch out. Turn the music down. I, ain't gonna I, I just, um, you know, in, in making this in making this mixtape, I realized, in my opinion, that Kane was better than Rakim. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. He just and, said that. And, um, you know, this is like, this is like an ongoing, like, battle, you know, just, through my friends, through yeah. like you know, you know, arguing amongst the Reup gang, arguing amongst me and my brother. Like yeah. I, I think I think Kane better, whatever. But I thought Rakim was better. Yeah, for so long, for a long time, and um, I was traveling to New York. I was driving. Heather, wait, wait, Heather, you want to say something real quick? I did, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Go ahead. Kane is better than Rakim in your opinion. Yes. So where do you rate KRS One? Listen, that the, the, we're talking about three. There, it's all it's it's those three right there are mm -hmm. it to me. Kane, KRS One, and, and Rock yes. yes, I just said this yesterday. You so you was drunk. You was drunk. <laughs> you, was, you said you, this. You, I didn't know you. You, 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 yeah. were, you, you were you were driving through New York. Uh, no, I was driving to New York, uh -huh. and I was going to um I was through Philly, and during the midday they were doing um they were doing all Rock Him and all Kane. So as I'm driving through Philly, they back to back records, back to back records. And the wrath of Kane was the solidifying like point for me. I was like, wait a minute. All right, that's it. He got it. The wrath of Kane. Kane, Kane had Kane. Kane had more. They both were great lyricists. Uh -huh. So it's like it just got to a point of discography to me. I was like, man, like Kane discography is nah. He he won. I want he people. Won. Okay, wow. we're, we're gonna have people chime in. Pusha T is here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Rap the Kane is the mixtape. I I don't know, man. Tell me what All do you right. think. I need some opinions. All right, I need Call opinions. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Hey. All right, we got Smooth from Connecticut on the line. Go ahead. What's up? Pusha T here. What's your question? What's up? Oh yeah, I want to ask Pusha T what's going on with the uh, rehab gang situation. Oh man, you know, Reup Gang is still at it. Um, myself, Lava, my brother. Um, I don't know if you've seen my brother and Lava just did a record together. Mm -hmm. Um, it's called Smoke and Mirrors, and um, 
actually, um, Lava's working on a solo project right now. So, you know, one, one, once we get these solo projects out, I think we should, you know, definitely come back and start hitting the streets heavy with, like, re-up gang material as as the threesome. All right, we got Tanisha from um, on Westchester. Go ahead, Tanisha. Tanisha, are you there? Yeah, I'm uh, here. And what's your question for Pusha T? I just wanted to know um, where he got the inspiration from to write the song Exodus 23-1 when he was beefing with Lil Wayne. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Exodus um was 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 a record that I made, you know, simply to to let people know that I'm I'm still outside, like I'm still out here. Like a lot of people, a lot of people took that as like a a, a beef record or whatever the case may be, but in all actuality, I was like just letting people know like man, you know, this music game hasn't taken me, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm not I'm not I'm not crazy over this music game like that. Like I'm not and I'm outside and I'm amongst this. And I'm amongst this right now. And I can be amongst this. And I'm comfortable amongst this. Mm-hmm. Like, I had already shot the video and everything. Yeah. Like, um, you know, if it was, like, really, really a a, a crazy beef record, like, I would have I went on some Dre Day type. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if if I was going to do all of that yeah. and, and did all that. But um, in all actuality, man, it was it was more so about me being out there and and. and 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 really being in the streets and, and and telling people that and like man you know telling these telling people that like yo this is my family right here yeah. like the music game is what it is but this is my family and and them guys ain't gonna die for you yeah were you uh, disappointed in Wayne's ghoulish response yeah yeah it wasn't good so that's why you didn't really respond back yeah that I mean come on I I you know I didn't respond back to that you know it wasn't I mean why yeah. cheapen it like you know what I'm saying this is like. This is sport. It's it's a sport in a, in a sense, and um, like man, I feel like man, I I like really crafted mm-hmm. everything I've done. I think I've crafted like real songs, like real songs or real verses, not cheap, not just hey f you mother f for that. Oh, I'm sorry, well, I I can't you curse up here. For you yeah, can, but you, you know what I'm saying. You but can't curse it, up it was here. yeah, but it wasn't just a <laughs> it wasn't about like just being cheap about mm-hmm. it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like man, let's you know let's have like lines and let's see who can really tap. Who's you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Who whose soul can really get shaken by this? What do you think? You know, I mean, <clears throat> as of late, it was I'm not used to people beefing with Pusha T. So right. this is a new <laughs> phenomenon to me. Like you know, you don't go wake up the lion. You don't poke at the dragon when it comes to rap. And I and I, I consider you like a, a fierce uh, MC. And then you got consequence. I know this has been everywhere. It's been all over the blogs and him uh, launching this attack against you and good music. But beyond that, man, what what is going on with people? You think where you know this 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 beef culture, it's just it's so prevalent now. And what what do you think is going on? What do you assess of it? Man, I I think you know um I just think the people are like, you know, trying to get on and they're bitter and they don't have like just the proper like etiquette and just being decent, man. Like this, it's just not that's just not a decent thing to do i don't think you could you know you could ever um somebody like him could ever diss a kanye not mm-hmm. to me and then when you see it like when you look at it it's like man you know you 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 talking about things like uh what was it baby shower gifts or something yeah. like i don't understand all that man like this is you talking about i don't i don't i don't want to talk about that i don't want to hear about that mm-hmm. personally you know what i'm saying but you know Hey man, I, I I I stayed quiet about that for a long time because they have their own relationship. But yeah. then you know he comes and he says what he says and mm-hmm. calls me pussy and all that. So I just Are you gonna make a beef record about? Nah, it? you ain't not, gonna respond to that. Not even like I mean you know I Big Daddy you know, came I, if with I do Big if Daddy I can, Big Daddy nah, came but, with but you know what? But no 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 <laughs> no. I, and this is what I've been saying. And this is what I've been musing. Mm-hmm. This is what I've been musing. Kane, people didn't know Kane and Rakim was beefing. beefing. People didn't know Nas and Big was beefing. Mm-hmm. Until after, like way after, and you get these stories. Yeah. Like, and it made for like the greatest, greatest records, like the best lyrics. Yeah. It was nothing cheap about it. Mm-hmm. It was just, you know, you know, but then when you, when, 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 you know, you got somebody like a, a premier who knows the background, who can break mm-hmm. down that history mm-hmm. yeah. and be like, yo, you know, I was enlightened by it. I was like, oh, man, that's what you meant by that? Yeah. yeah. Or when I was like, man, y'all don't know about my Biggie Wars. I'm like, what? Yeah. When? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. And then, you know, you got to listen and, 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 and uh, you know, just... just you got to um, do your research. Yeah, you got to do your research. <laughs> but, like, that's that's what I was, like, 
channeling. Like, okay, let's 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 be tasteful. And if you saw consequence today and they were face to face, you would say what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, man, I don't know, man. You know, this this rap game is crazy, man. It I just, crazy. you know, you, you just got to look at it. You ever get tired, like, let's have a one real time. What's you up? You ever get tired of this bullshit, man? A lot of this I, shit I, is I, clownish, I, man. Let's I, tell I, the truth. I really, I really do, man. But, um, you know, as soon as you get tired of it, I think the passion, a good record, a good beat, mm -hmm. the passion of just the game or just... It overrides all that. Well, yeah, the, I think so. Yeah, the music overrides this clown. There's some clown shit going on. Hey, they listeners. Totally. We, we play along with it because y'all like it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> the listeners and the consumer, but there's some real clownish shit going on in the rap game. On on, and, on all sides, and, too. Uh, yeah. Politically, you know, in the game with the different artists, so on and so forth. But, like, it's even it's times like this, man. Like, like these interviews and... And you know what I'm saying? Just being around people who like really know what's going on and mm -hmm. I can have a conversation about mm -hmm. Kane and G Rap mm -hmm. and everybody yeah. and everybody knows what I'm talking about in the room. It's yeah. like, man, it's just that's that's the win. Man, that's man, the win, man. Gotta that's come the hang win. out on this life radio, man. They doing nah, for sure. yeah, this is life radio. This ain't morning drive. Yo, I've like, only done this one time. That's I so know. Crazy. That's what they <laughs> <hell. That's laughs> I don't know why I've been here before though. <laughs> I don't know, man. You hey, you know, sometimes the truth, you know, shall set you free. You waited to, you know, you had to you had to go through that falseness to get to the everybody Didn't are we do clowns LA or now. Though? Yeah, yeah, we done with the wake up show. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, with the wake we, up show, me and yeah. King Tech and Revolution. But right. this is the first time you've done this one. Right, right, right. But everybody's a clown right now. Yeah, man. From the T V personalities. Yeah. Mm. A lot of these bloggers, not all of them. Right. A lot of these radio personalities, everybody's shooting with the wrong motivation. Right, right, right. Don't get caught up in that. Nah, man. You can't. You can't. And I and I won't, man. And 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 then you know, I, I look at the bloggers. I look at the bloggers and and like some of the people on Twitter, and I really appreciate a lot of a lot of them guys because yeah. you can tell who's like really Real, speaking yeah. from a uh, you know from a, a hip hop fan, a purist, and trying to understand and not just trying to shoot you down and so yeah. on and so forth. Like everybody got the opinion of you know to like something or not, but it's like when you got a, a basis and a, and a reasoning behind what you're saying and mm -hmm. so on and so forth, you can always respect that. So, I can always you know. respect that, man. All right, man. Push Straight your up. T, ladies and gentlemen. Get the album, Rap the King, man. Mixtape, Rap the King. Yeah. Download that right now. Live mixtapes.com, that piff, and all them other sites. You know, uh, my name is my name coming this spring. All right. And no cruel winter album. No cruel winter album, to my knowledge. I'm off. Listen, I'm going to let Q-Tip talk to y'all about that. Mm-hmm. I'm cool. Okay. But I don't know about one okay. right now. All right. Cool. All right, cool. Push your tea, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.